Hello, well, hello there. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony, and I'm here about to have a meeting in this building here. What is this building? It is Creekmore Lodge number 74. We are here in Medill, Oklahoma, and I'm giddy like a little schoolgirl. Why is that? Because I always get giddy if I ever get a chance to sit in a lodge uh, in a state I've never, a state and or jurisdiction that I've never been to before. And this is my first time ever. So I'm going to go to this meeting here and I got another meeting in another Oklahoma Lodge uh, next week so looking forward to that and then I'll be giddy again next week because I'm going to sit in my first Texas Lodge and then the rest of this year will be nothing but Texas Lodges all the way through like April so but I'm going to sit in a lot of Texas Lodges maybe my goal is to do 25 or 30 Texas Lodges so looking forward to doing some of that this next year for you so stay tuned and be sure um, to like and subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notified when I put up new videos I should be doing Masonic videos. I try to do them about two every week if I can but uh, Looking forward to doing a whole lot of those but come along with me because I'm gonna show you the inside of this building here Because I'm out here living the coolest life Masonic edition Well, good news, we are in. In fact, this is it right here. I want to show you this uh, uh, main foyer room that they have here. I have some things on the wall. Sometimes they gave away some money, to local FFA. And it's a nice little room. It's got some historic pieces from their lodge. They've actually got a, uh, a the deputy grand master is a member of this lodge, about to be grand master next year. It's kind of cool. And I want to show you this one other thing here before we go in the main lodge room. This. I wanted to show you these doors. <laughs> yeah, those are new. You don't see that very often. The big barn doors with the sliders, especially in the in the burnt wood. So that's pretty cool. And they got a nice dining room down that way. Let's go on in the big the main lodge room. On our way in, you see this it's Tyler sword. And you see the jewels here they got hanging. I've also got a couple tires right there. Some aprons, grab those on the way in. Uh, door knocker, I don't see any kind of peephole here. Another door knocker there. Non Masonic, lots of lighting and got some velvet on the chairs and it kind of matches the flooring. I'll show you a nice big picture of this room. It's, it's a very long room, it's a good sized room. Don't seem quite this large. Looks like they got them wired for sound here. This is senior warden's station here. They've got their past masters uh, all the way around the room. That's what those pictures are. This column here, not a big column. It's about 6'2", something like that. You can see it's shorter than the door. Uh, I don't see any sonic, you know, levels there. So we're we'll going to look down this way. You can see some of the same kind of workmanship. They actually just made these this year, so they like what they did outside. <clears throat> Here's your customary picture of George Washington. It's actually here in the north. And they used to have an eastern star here, which is what this is for. They don't have an eastern star here anymore. There's still some of their past masters here. I asked them why they had an extra chair here. They said uh, during one of their lectures last time they had a an EA or they had anyway they had they were doing a practice and they had the uh, someone sitting here next to the uh, uh, senior deacon who would sit here. Um, he was telling him what to say, what not to say. <clears throat> this is nice. This is a different configuration of a ballot box. So as you can see, there's not there's no cubes here. This is, these are either black or white. You you can't do that by not looking. You have to pick what color you need. And if I was going to pick that color there, I'd drop it down in the hole. So I just dropped a white one there. The way you get it out is this way. You can see it's sitting there. So the neat thing about this is sometimes if you have cubes and you drop them in a hole like that, you could tell if it was a cube or a ball by the way it bounced. And that's why a lot of, um, um, Ballot boxes will have padding on the bottom, so you can't really hear it. In this case, you wouldn't be able to tell because they're all marbles. <laughs> I think Pennsylvania's got all marbles. There's a couple other states that do that. Not many. 
not many jurisdictions. Most jurisdictions either have black cubes and white balls is, is the norm. But there's a few. It looks like they've got a, uh, this is a, uh, a sword holder way over here, but there's no sword in it. So if you were in Kansas, of course, a Tyler sword would be stored here uh, while we're at ease or while we're at refreshment. This is a little unusual. A lot of times you'll see the, uh, um, this is a big stage, but this would be maybe a little further this way in a lot of jurisdictions. But it's nice. It all matches. These steps are not quite as as girthy. They're not quite as tall as as a normal step, but they're not really small either. They're, they're just like four-inch steps instead of six. It's got a nice G up top. Over here again, he's got, he's wired for sound. You see the sound? He's wired for sound here. And, well, that's a nice big piece. Nice. Didn't see the, didn't see the pin there. That's nice, and he's got a uh, his little cheat sheet down there. I'm not going to look at that because I don't know what it is. He's got some extra hats here. We see those hats like that in New Hampshire, um, uh, New Jersey. They wear those a lot. In some of the lodges I've seen, uh, their master would actually wear that hat. Uh, most jurisdictions, they don't. or They either don't wear a hat, which is about four. It's an option, or they would uh, um, uh, wear a different kind of hat, like the one next to it, like the fedora. Oh, that's the, uh, so you would, if you hit that and you could make it be quiet with that thing, huh? Hmm. What is that thing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's Masonic or not. He's got a sound system up here. Looks like some of these have been labeled. Maybe they're in honor of a brother. A lot of times you see those plates on a chair. Normally I see these on here on most, uh, furniture, pieces of furniture. And then you got your junior warden section here, and you see he's got some some corn over here. I don't see a sheaf of wheat here, but there is some corn here at this somewhat waterfall. It's a nice piece. There are uh, junior um, stewards and junior senior stewards with seven either side. Check out that cornucopia. That's a little different. It's actually one flat piece. Don't see that very often. In fact, this might be my first one I've ever seen. It's like it was carved out of a piece of metal. So that's unusual. Normally you see they're, they're a little more 3D than that, but that's, that's nice. I like that. There's some old school there. And then you've got your altar. Now I will say this, this is the first time I've ever seen lesser lights attached to the altar like this. Is configured. I have seen that were part of the altar. It seems like they were attached on the side, but not three around it like this. So that's a first. I, I noticed that when I first came in the room. But they got a staff holder here. So they got an old Bible. Uh, let's see if this is a Masonic Bible or not. Yep. He talks about the degrees of masonry. Building King Solomon's Temple. Good stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice stuff. So that's a real nice Bible. It's got some got some history to that one, that's for sure. So, so if you're ever in Medill, uh, Oklahoma, which is a south central, um, due north of uh, Dallas, I guess you'd say south central, um, uh, come to Creek Moor Lodge number 74, they'll welcome you. Maybe get a chance to meet a deputy grand master like I did. He actually just uh, interrogated me to make sure I was a master mason, so I passed. Yay. <laughs> Answered all the right questions. But uh, come visit these brothers. We had we had stew today. It was great. Cornbread was awesome. But uh, come visit these brothers. They'll welcome you like they did me. I'm going to let you go. Be sure to like and subscribe because I'm going to get back out here living the coolest life, Masonic Edition, Oklahoma.